morning everyone, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. The workout today is gonna to be a complete upper body. Your format's a little bit different. So, you're gonna start round one with 15 reps of everything. Round two is gonna be 12, then 10, then eight. So as you decrease in your rep range, you're gonna increase in your weight amount. You'll require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today, so grab those. I'm also gonna use a Swiss ball to lie on, but you can use the floor or a bench. I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. Let's do this, let's move daily. Starting with your warm up, I'm just gonna grab a light weight. I'm gonna do some nice big arm circles here. Okay, just get that ball and socket warmed up, but you can do like a two pound, three pound, or a zero weight is fine. Switch direction. Just nice and slow, one set at a time here. Good. All right, switch arms, big stretch. Oh yeah. I've been sitting all morning again. It always feels good to get up and just do something after editing for hours. Switch direction. Surprising how long it takes to edit, actually. <laughs> Probably a 45 minute video takes about four hours. A long time, isn't it? I know. Okay, set that down. Let's go into a little squat overhead reach. We'll get the blood flowing with this squat here. Just stretch up, big stretch in the lats there. Good, five more here. Nice, take it wide. Plie, open it through the chest. Oh, it's actually sore. What was I doing the other day? We must have done push-ups at some point. Those always make me really sore. That's all right, total body today, so a little bit of everything here. And doing that four rounds is really that progressive overload that you need to switch things up if you typically do three. Good, all right, hands on your shoulders. Let's rotate here. Three more. All right, I want you to put your hands together, elbows together. Let's push up and down for 10 right here. Do your elbows stay together? Mine have a hard time on this one. I don't know why, but a lot of my clients can do it really well. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, okay, let's go into that shoulder circle, but both at the same time this time. All right, switch directions and up. All right, swing it side to side here. That's it. And up and over you go. Okay, one more squat overhead reach right here. Four more here. And let's take it wide again, in through the chest, open up right there. That's it. I think we'll start with back and biceps. I almost always start with chest and try, but we'll switch it up a little bit this morning, okay? So make sure you have a box or bench or couch or chair handy. We're gonna start with a plank, one arm row. Okay, remember, 15 of everything to start. You can come down onto your elbow, get into plank. Okay, this could also be done just balancing yourself on the side of a couch, like in a standing position. Feel free to do that, that's okay. Okay, 15 aside, here we go. Nice wide stance on the legs so that you have a good um, tripod here. Good, I have three more. Three, two, and then 15. All right, switching sides. And we'll be flipping that over there. 
front of the elbow. Okay, 15 here. First round, be relatively rapid. You're kind of warm up mode, last five here. All right, and there we go. Nice, let's move in to pinwheel curl. I'm gonna grab my other eight. Okay, 30 reps in total here. So again, nice and rapid. Here we go, knees are soft. Just warming those muscles up. There's 10. And 20, last 10 here. All right, there's 30. Into a dumbbell pullover. I'm gonna use my Swiss ball for this. And I'll start with my 15. bench or the floor is fine too. If you're on the floor, do a glute bridge. So uh, knee, bum is down, knees are up. All right, here we go. Low hips, slow and 15 here. There's five. into this circuit. Make sure we get abs in today as well. Okay, plank position, Spider-Man crunch. You're down in plank, you've got 15 per side right here. And two, three. Good, that's halfway, 15 more now.
That's 12, halfway and up. Make sure you stand tall on this. I see a lot of people bend over when they're doing this exercise. Last four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Moving into your dumbbell pullover. I'm gonna use my 20 for that. And we've got 12. So sit, down, 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 drop the hips. And slow, one, two, three, up, one. Slow, 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 and two. Wait. 
Good, I've got two more here. Drop the hips an inch if you're not feeling it in those lats. Last here. Good. Nice. Okay. Spider Man. Ready? 20 in total this time. Here we go. Here's 10. Nine, 20. Okay. <sighs> good, good. Last round. I think I'll try my uh, 25 with the eight reps on this one arm row. <sighs> Even if I'm like, oh, I can only do six, then I would stop. But I'm gonna give it a shot and see how my body does here. All right, eight aside. There's eight. Yeah, that was great. Actually, the only thing that hurt is my stationary arm on the bench here. Here we go for eight, other side. One more. Yeah. Okay. That was work. That was work. Pinwheels. Only because my elbow has got tennis <laughs> elbow. Otherwise, I would try the 20s. 16 ain't bad. Here we go. There's eight halfway up one. Tricep dips for 15. 
little bench, little box, little couch, chair, I don't care. That's too shallow. Go <laughs> this way. All right, ready? Straight legs to make it more difficult, bent is easier, here we go. Elbows go straight behind you. If you find this too difficult for your wrists, feel free to do a skull pressure, okay? Five more. Not too bad. Okay, on your back, you're gonna do a tricep. Chest press to a shallow overhead extension. Starting with my 15s for 15, or sorry, with my eights for 15 reps. So, you're gonna go up, down, shallow overhead. Okay, I want your elbow to be facing the ceiling at the bottom of this. Then back and press. Okay, everyone start at the top, get ready. Go down, shallow back down and press, that's one. Here we go, up, back, and two, three, four. I'm gonna go a little rapider here because my weights are light. Six,
eight. Nine. Three more. And 12. Oh, wow. Those 15s really um, are hard on that for me. I might stick with that on the 10 rep range. Okay, 12. V sits. Here we go. Four 
more. Last year. Holy, wow. My clients, they can knock out 30s there, because no problem, that was really tough for me. For some unknown reason. <laughs> I'm not as strong as them. I trained them to get stronger, and now they're beating me. How's that work? <laughs> That's okay. We're in it for health and longevity, girls. <sighs> okay, eight dips, here we go. favorite exercise because of the wrist thing, but I thought I'd throw it in there. I haven't done dips in a long time, so normally I would just do a skull crusher. Just way easier for me, you know? So, having broken that wrist, it aches a lot. Okay, 15s for eight here. Ready, go up, down, shallow overhead. Two more for me. Last. Nice, okay, chest and tries feel sufficiently fried. Let's give me eight of those V-sits and then we'll take a break here. Let's go up, one. Seven, eight. Okay, shoulders is next. Grab some water. Starting with a seated pulse press, military press. So I'm gonna just use my fives for everyone because they're gonna be up there for a season. So start light. You're gonna do a little pulse, full range press with both dumbbells. Okay, nice and tall, little pelvic tilt. Tuck your core in. Here we go. So it's little and one, two. Five more. Last one, little and up. Okay, not horrible. Good. 15 alternating front raises. Okay, so once we get heavy, this is gonna be great. Right now it's gonna be super easy, but it's still warm up. So I'm gonna start with my, mm, I'm gonna start with my eights. Okay, for 30 reps here. 15 each side. You're gonna bring it across, palm faces to ceiling, crosses the body slightly, squeezing that front deltoid. Here we go for 30. Up and two. There's 10. Nice and rounded, thinking about your back shoulder, rounded arms like that. Let's retract those shoulder blades for 15. Here we go, up one. Round. 
Go into your ab, side plank. Foot to hand touch, just like this. So here's your regular version, right there. I'm gonna do that when I get down in reps. But right now I'm gonna start from my knee, hand is up and overhead. You're touching hand to toe for 15, let's go. Up, and two. Five more. Last here. Good. Now when I get into 12, I'll go for my foot. Just wanna get the leg warmed up. Here we go, 15. All right, five more. Whoo, lower glute though. Feels that. Three, two, and one. All right, good. Moving to your seated military press with a pulse. Using my eights this time. Okay. Everything okay right there? Ready? Little pulse, full range press, 12 reps. Here we go. One. Halfway. Here we go. Up. All right, there's 12, I'm halfway. Flies to 12. I'm going to stick with these eights here for that. Butt up, chest out, rounded arms, and work. Four more. From the knee or from the toe, 12 side. Halfway. All right, that's it. I dropped at three to go. Just that IT band on that side is a bit tender, so I gotta watch that. Here we go.
Two more. Oh, wow. That's hard. Okay. Rep race for 20 in total. I'm gonna go my 15, so it's gonna slow my rep range quite substantially. Here we go. Take your time. swinging so I thought it was okay if you're like trying to swing or move your hips to get it up lighten all right reverse flies 10 here I've got my 15s here we go here. That felt good with that pulse for me. Okay, eight of everything, round four. Here we go. Great. It's 
go eight here and work. And eight, good. I hope I didn't miss anything. Usually when I'm editing this sequence, I find like I have. Here we go, one. Seven and eight and done. You move daily and your upper body blast. Four rounds. Oh, let's stretch it out. Good job, you guys. Just gonna go into child's pose, open the hips up, press the chest to the ground. Deep breath and push. Oh, yeah. Good, let's go into cobra here. Just go up as high as you can. Oh, stretch that lower back. Oh, arms are a bit shaky though, hey? Not shaky like that strength class shaky. That's another level, but this is more muscular strength, right? Let's go back again. One more here. Oh. I'm just gonna alternate which shoulder I push towards the ground, so just kind of camping out on that one first. And then this side, push the shoulder to the ground. Oh, that feels really good. Let's tuck the hand under now, right like this, okay? Just under, lie down. Let's see here. Okay, let's end that. So not as many calories burned in a strength training session. But that says 320. Switch sides. Yeah, your heart rate's not up as much, and especially for upper body, right? Like lower body, for sure. My heart rate's jacked. Big muscles mean more energy exerted, for sure. But this is how you sculpt the upper body, right? This is how, when you're standing there, people go, oh, you must work out. <laughs> right, right, I do. Okay, arms back here. Oh. That's good. <laughs> My chest is sore. It must be from what I did the other day too, and then adding those 25 pulse presses. Oh, that was hard. But good job. But again, that's how you progressively overload. There's lots of different methods to do that. You can do higher rep range. You can do high, let's so say in high volume. You can do slower, like in eccentric. I was gonna film one of those, wasn't I? Yes, I'm gonna do that coming up which means you do fast on the up and really, really, really slow on the descent or the down phase or the eccentric phase of the exercise. So you'd lift the bicep curl up and you go slow, slow, slow on the down. So great way to build muscle, um, recruiting far more muscle fibers and tearing them as you go. Um, so that's why it's critical that you eat protein when you're done your workout so that you can rebuild those tears in the muscles and replace your lost energy stores too so you can have energy to repair and rebuild. Um, another way of increasing your lean muscle, muscle is definitely to lift heavier. So you should drop the rep range. Um, even in the six to eight rep range you could do a, a bunch of workouts like that. Like I know uh, one of our members there Melissa said she wants to grow her glutes. Well I would number one do it three times a week. I would focus, I would take out like one of the um, upper bodies that I have and throw in another lower and then do like a lower cardio one too. If you wanna build size in a certain area, you gotta really overload that area. But give me that enough like 48 hours in between so that it can repair and recover. But um, yeah, it's, it's more time under tension for that specific area. If you're only training triceps once a week, don't expect them to like, grow. <laughs> no, girl, you got to put more time. Definitely more time, effort, in specific parts. So think about what you want. I know in this program, I write a structured routine to sort of suit everyone in terms of muscle building and fat loss. But um, like I said, you can always cut and paste your workouts. So even next week when you get a whole new one and there was maybe a glute one from the previous week or a leg one, you could take out one of those upper bodies and put two leg or three leg in your week. Just mix and match, okay? That's a good idea. If you wanna grow legs or if you wanna grow arms or upper body, then you would do opposite. 
If you want to burn a lot of body fat and not really gain muscle, then you'd maybe add another cardio. See how that works? All right, I gotta go, we got things to do. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition now, and we'll see you soon.